Hi everybody, this is John Jamison. Welcome to this video. Today I want to talk to you about using a what's called a self-directed IRA to invest in real estate. Many of you don't even know that you can do that. And if you have heard of it, you don't really know how to set it up, who does it, what are the particulars. That's one of the things we work with people on from all over the country. So let's first of all talk about what is a self-directed IRA. It's nothing more than using an individual retirement account to invest in real estate. But the, one of the differences is going to be if you go to a traditional plan administrator, uh, let's say Schwab or Edward Jones, whoever the traditional ones are, and you say, hey, I've heard that I, I can invest in real estate. I want to do that. They will look at you like you just landed from Mars because it's not what they do. They don't understand it. They have no desire to understand it because for you to invest in properties or notes or cash flows or a business venture or an LLC, that takes money away from their accounts and they're not big on that. So the first thing you have to do is open up an account with a plan administrator who understands these things, who's approved to do these things through the IRS. And now you've got an account that's available that you can now invest in real estate, private notes, businesses, all the things I just mentioned, and much more. It's almost unlimited what you can invest in with your IRA money. Now, today we're gonna to talk about two simple strategies, both involving real estate using a self-directed IRA. So the first thing is you have to roll over all or a portion of your IRA, you can leave a portion of it where it's at now, but however much you wanna invest in real estate, now think about that folks, you have the ability to truly diversify your retirement account. Not just stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, but also hard assets that produce income month after month after month. You can do that with a self-directed IRA. We're not only going to show you how to do it, we'll actually do it for you if you're so inclined, if you're interested in the kind of properties and the deals that we put together for investors all over the country. So number one, roll your plan over. Uh, I'm not going to mention on video who are some different people that will do that for you. If you want to reach out to us, contact me at john at wealthwithoutstocks.com. That's john at wealthwithoutstocks.com. I'll give you a whole list of information about how to set up a self-directed IRA. So let's just assume it's set up for now. And for the sake of example, let's just say that you have $100,000 in that particular account. So I happen to work, live and work out of Metro Detroit, and I've been doing real estate here for 27 years, and lived here my whole life. And there's no doubt that you could go out there and get one, even possibly two properties, but usually it's gonna be one within today's marketplace. You could get one, let's say you could get one property all in, meaning purchase price, any repairs, our fee to put it all together and run the whole thing for you. Let's say you can get it all done for, let's say $75,000. So in this example, you're gonna pay cash, $75,000, will come out of the IRA and purchase this particular home, all right? Now, the IRA actually owns the property. Now, there's such thing as, as uh, checkbook control and some different things. I don't want to get too much in the weeds here on this intro video to self-directed IRAs. Just understand the IRA owns the particular property. So let's say for the sake of example, this rents for $1,000 a month, which is probably going to be pretty close to the truth. And let's say it has $300 a month of expenses between taxes, insurance, property management, some maintenance. Let's just keep the math simple. So let's say that you're netting $700 a month after you pay all your expenses. All right, so seven times 12, obviously, that's $8,400 in net NCF, net cash flow. Okay, folks, well, you know, you only put up $75,000. So to have an 80, that's it's more than a 10% rate of return. All right, so that's, that's cool on its own, but understand, that $8,400 now is all tax deferred because the IRA owns the property. So let's just say you held on to this particular property. Let's say you've got 10 years till retirement. You held on to this property 10 years. For the sake of example, every year there, you, you pocketed $8,400. Some years it'll be more, some years it'll be less. Your rents might go up. But for 10 years, our example, $8,400. That's gonna leave you $84,000 of cash flow that hasn't been taxed inside your IRA. So now it's 10 years from now, and you decide, you know, it's, it's, it's run its course. I don't want to own the property anymore. I want to go full blown retirement, and I want to sell this property. All right, well now when you sell this property, let's say you sell it, a reasonable appreciation rate in 10 years. I don't know, let's say you sell it for 110. 
Not out of the question. In fact, it might be worth close to that now, depending on the marketplace. So you paid 75, okay? That's a $35,000 profit. So let's just say you net 110. Maybe you sold for 115, there were some expenses. So 110,000 goes inside your IRA, leaving you $194,000, all tax deferred. By the way, if that was a Roth IRA, this is tax free, never be taxed. But if it's a traditional IRA, it's gonna be taxed just like a traditional IRA would be eventually when you start taking it out. So think about this for a minute. You put $75,000 in the investment. It generated $84,000 over a 10 year period. It netted you 110,000. By the way, guys, if the market goes crazy with inflation, it could be a lot more than that. But for very you know, simple terms, let's say it netted you $110,000 when you sold it. That's $194,000 on a $75,000 investment over 10 years with very little risk. And by the way, if you didn't want to sell it, it could still produce income, probably will produce more income than that. And you did that all on a tax deferred or a tax free basis. Okay, now let's use a different example. Let's use a little more expensive property because I do have investors that want to buy more expensive stuff. And so let's say they're going to buy a $110,000 property, but they don't have the whole $110,000. This time they're going to finance it. They're going to finance some of it. So <clears throat> actually, let's keep the math simple. It's a $100,000 property. You decide, hey, I don't have $100,000 in my IRA to buy it. I have, let's say I've got 75. Well, you don't have to use the whole 75. Let's say you put 40% down, get the seller to pay costs. So now you're gonna finance $60,000. So you're gonna get the same rents, but now you're gonna have an outgoing cash flow. So you won't actually not pocket the whole $8,400, you're gonna pocket less. Your rate of return might be higher because you're using leverage now. But the main point is, when you go to sell this property, let's say there's also a nice profit at the end of the rainbow on this one. When you go to sell this, not all of it will be tax deferred or tax free because you did finance some of this. But a portion of it, the portion that you used of your own IRA money, is all gonna be tax deferred or tax free. So knowing you can finance a real estate purchase with your IRA means that you maybe go out and buy a triplex or a fourplex. Maybe use $100,000 down on a $300,000 property. You can do things like that. Now, when you borrow, there's very specific regulations when your IRA borrows money. We can help you with that. You're not just gonna go down to your local bank and say, hey, I want my IRA to borrow money. They're not gonna understand it and they won't do it, almost all of them, because there's very specific set of regulations. You need to deal with experts in that field and we have access to those. So folks, on top of all that, let's, this is the structure of it. I wanna show you two properties. This one is in my backyard. Purchase price, $56,000 on this one. Now, all in, by the time you pay repairs, pay us to do it, it's probably gonna be in $75,000, $80,000 for this property. It's three bedrooms, has a basement, has a garage, rent for around $1,000. Nowhere else on the planet are you doing those kind of rent to value ratios. Here's one, $60,000. All in, you're gonna be in for $75,000 to $80,000. It'll rent for probably more than $1,000 a month. Again, solid home, solid area, working blue, uh, blue collar areas, decent schools, good parks and rec, those kind of things. Folks, we have those things in our backyards. We deal with investors from all over the country and we'll do it all for you. We will find it, we'll analyze it, we'll offer it, we'll get it closed, we will get it repaired. Of course, you're gonna pay for the repairs, but we'll handle getting the repairs done if it needs it. Almost all of them are gonna need something. And once it's done, we will get the property rented out for you and have the long-term management handled for you. It's literally a real estate business in a box and you can use, you don't have to use IRA money for it, but isn't it nice to know that you can use IRA money for it? Well, you can, we'll help you every step of the way. Reach out to us. We have a 24 hour man number, 586-944-0794. Uh, Leave us a message, we'll get back in touch with you. You can also, again, send me an email, john at wealthwithoutstocks.com. Say, hey, I'm interested, tell me more. And uh, one of my associates or me will get on the phone and we'll discuss it and we'll show you what we have and you can actually use your IRA on a tax-free basis. Folks, you can flip homes in your IRA. You can make private loans out of your IRA. All of those things, okay? So with that being said, thanks for tuning in today. We look forward to doing business with you hopefully very soon. Even if not with us, I hope you can go out in your local marketplace and use this information. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.